In this lecture, we discuss the basics of how to design random access memory. RAM is the fast, rewritable memory storage that we use to store information while the computer is running. However, because RAM is volatile, the RAM will lose the information that it stores once the computer loses power. A RAM is an addressed information storage device that is indexed by K address bits and stores information in chunks of M bits. Unlike ROMs, the information in a RAM can be rewritten. We never want to read and write to a RAM at the same time, so we include a read-write signal that tells the RAM to read when the input is 1 and write when the input is 0, hence the complement sign on the word write. Finally, we want to perform read and write operations only when we need a RAM chip, so we include a chip select bit which will enable the RAM when it is 1 and disable it when it is 0. To demonstrate how we implement RAM, we will work through a 4x1 RAM example. Because the addresses of the information that we want to retrieve or write on are encoded with a binary code in the address bits, we want to use a 2x4 decoder to activate one address at a time. The decoder's outputs are sent to RAM slices that are composed of a selection of RAM cells. The technical details of these RAM cells vary between technologies and types of RAMs, so it is sufficient to know that we can write and read from RAM cells and that only one RAM cell in the slice will be activated by the decoder at a time. Each RAM slice stores one bit of each data word. The bit slice receives one bit of data input and the read-write signal. The chip select signal enables the circuit to be written to and also enables the circuit's output by acting as the control bit of a tri-state buffer. When the chip select is zero, the circuit neither writes data to any of the RAM cells nor does it transmit an output. If we increase the number of addresses in our RAM, we will need to increase the size of the binary decoder and we will need to increase the number of RAM cells in each RAM slice to correspond with the increased size of the decoder. If we want to increase the number of bits per word, we need to add more bit slices. We just need to make sure that we send and receive the appropriate data bits from each RAM slice. A RAM is similar to a ROM in that it is an addressed memory storage circuit. In both circuits, the address bits are decoded by a binary decoder that activates one memory address at a time. Both RAMs and ROMs also store information in chunks of bits called words. However, because the RAM can be written to and read from, it includes additional circuitry to control and enable these additional operations.